Hello, you must follow my instructions. Please go to the test chamber upstairs and destroy equipment through the use of rocket explosions. Are we gonna get a rocket launcher? You will go back to your test chamber. End message. Press again to replay. Obviously, this is a placeholder, it will change. Nice. Hello everyone, my name is ASTF. Uh, welcome to Portal Ambition. I am really happy to be playing Portal Ambition. Thank you, I am Rye Red for access to the pre-release. I don't know if the demo was the first six chamber. I love the, the sample wall. Um, it probably is. So we're looking at a little bit of a repeat, but we should be able to get through them pretty quick and then uh, see what's going on in the full game. I am so excited for the full release of this thing. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see if the robot's still just as depressed as before. Oh, no voice lines. All right, I'm not gonna cheese it this time. Last time, remember we cheesed it by like throwing the cube through the thing and then we got all confused about the flow of the puzzle. I did fix the title on the first video. Yeah, I accidentally called it a Portal 2 mod. It is a portal mod and I even mentioned that in the stream and then I forgot to update the video template so it is fixed. Now the AI voice lines are disabled right now. We had them going in the demo and I don't know if they're supposed to be here but we've had no no AI voice lines in this whole game so far. What's up Mr. Black Mesa? I see you coming in here from Rybred's Discord, welcome in. Also, there's no music in here. I feel like I broke something by sitting in the menu for too long. The other game sounds are playing, there's just no AI voice lines or music. So it's eerily quiet. Oh, we're speed running this thing. No, it didn't go through. Oh, now I have to wait for it again. That's okay, we can wait. Oh, there's music now. Ambient generics might be broken. Okay, maybe. And it keeps telling me it's rebuilding the node graph every time I every time it finishes the loading screen. So I guess that's okay. If you're wondering why I kind of know what the puzzles are, we played through the demo. And I think that the first six chambers are going to be the same linear puzzles. Black Mesa was a developer as well. I know I saw his name over on the server. That's awesome. You guys have done such great work with this. Honestly, the, the puzzle flow, even playing through the demo, was so good that my teeny tiny one brain cell of a brain couldn't get it. I can't confirm anything, but the pre-release is on Steam. It's currently, I think, I don't know if it's unlisted. There is a store page for it and the community hub just got enabled. That was in the most recent, most recent patch. Oh yeah, we need to wait for that to fire up first. This one already took me a long time. Far too long, I should say. Hello? H Hello? Oh, it's different. It's totally different. It's not the same as the demo. Oh, we're already behind the scenes. Oh, this is exciting. It's not the same puzzle flow. I did not expect that. I legitimately thought the first six levels would be similar, if not exactly the same. All right, we need something pink for that. And there's something going on in there. I think I saw some of that. That looks deadly from the screenshots of the game. Level three, you are here and level one. Let's call the lift while we look around. I don't know if there's an orange portal yet. There is no orange portal, can confirm. It's so cool to be part of an early development thing. I just, I, I've always wanted, I was talking to Pink Ninja, my wife the other day, about, I've been doing the content creation thing for a while now, and something about being able to play a game in closed beta, because, I streamed and the creator saw the stream and then reached out and we like were able to work out playing this like while the devs are here. This is so cool. I feel like a legitimate content creator now and we're close to 500 subs too. It's already feeling like there's so many ways to go. Maybe this is back through the pink door that I couldn't get through before. Nope, this is looking into, should I jump into here or should I go on the stairs? This is the problem with me. I'm like, there's other ways to go. If I end up playing a full open world portal mod, I'm just I'm just going to be wandering around like this because there's so many options. I was going the right way. My gaming instincts are good. Does this button work? It does work. How does that even How is that a thing? Where do we need to go from there? Up here maybe? Oh, okay. Yep. Maybe up here. This looks like it could have been. Maybe over here. I bet we need to go up here and then put a portal up through here somehow. Alas, I cannot see anything up through there. Hmm, that might be not a moon paint surface. Maybe we need to go up over here. This is the only other way I haven't gone yet. 
My instincts were so good and now they're so bad. Maybe, oh, it's, a, it's up there. It's gotta be up there. Okay. Yeah, literally the last place that we checked. I know it's always technically the last place you check because you don't keep trying to look after you've checked the first time. So I think we do this and then we go back through again. But how do I get back down to the portal? This is so cool, man. Walking around through all of these areas. Oh. This is not the way. I do want to experience a lot of this in early development on stream and then cut out a lot for VODs potentially because I don't want to spoil a lot of the game as far as like the flow and when things happen and that kind of thing. We've been up there. That was where the thing let out from before. Maybe it's down over there because there's a there's a door there. I bet that's it. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, mu oh, okay, almost jumped in. I was gonna say, this must be the goo pit as I almost jump in and, and off myself in the goo pit. That's clever that it's directly underneath where it spits you out before. Yeah, this door is ajar. This is looking like new territory. There's so many doors and ways to go. Oh, this must have been the door that wouldn't open for us. Yeah, okay, so now we can get back here without having to do all the portal stuff, which, amazing. I love it when in Portal, you don't have to play long parts of the mess the level again. Hello, you must follow my instructions. We are short on time. Please go to the test chamber upstairs and destroy equipment. I exposed parts that can be destroyed through the use of rocket explosions. Are we gonna get a rocket launcher? You will be taking elevator C. It will take you up to level eight. I am the assistant and I will be guarding you. Soon I will get you in touch with the scientist who woke you up at the back of the unfinished chamber. I'll open a panel for you to go through. After you finish our task, you will go back to your test chamber that I purposefully made malfunction. We will meet when we have another plan. Good luck, test subject. End message. Press again to replay. So I have to go back up, which means I need to find the... Obviously, this is a placeholder. It will change. Nice. Did something open up that I need to go find? Or was this something that we could see all along? Oh, this opened up a little further. Okay, so... That looks like the elevator we need to get to. This is elevator C though. Oh, we're trying to go to elevator C. Duh. Is it frustrating as a developer that you're like, you've seen it four times. You've literally walked up to the thing and not done it. How do I make it obvious so that you do the thing? It's noticeable enough that players don't wander around the same thing for an hour because they missed something because that's a bad play experience. But it can't be so obvious that there's no challenge either. How do you craft the puzzles in, in such a way that it is like the fine line between those as a small team? Only one door. This That's what I like to see. There's only one way to go. There's a button. I always push the button. Oh, okay. So there's the rocket portal that we need. Now I imagine we break this glass with a rocket. Hello, Mr. Rocket Guy. Ha boom. Oh, one more. Good job aiming. Okay, we can go through here. To answer your question, I don't know if it gets frustrating personally, but you attempt to think first if making a decision changing an area would be beneficial or not. Interesting. Oh no, I broke the railing. Shame on me for breaking the railing as I rocket my way through glass in the facility. Now, how do we get a rocket to point at this? Maybe that wall straight through here. Hello, Mr. Rocket Man. Yes, I understand that's not the Rocket Man. Oh, this is fun. I love this. Maybe we can rocket this. Yeah, we do. Let's just go break all the glass that we can. We need to break that somehow, which means I think we need to get targeted and then move it up. Yeah, uh, yes, indeed. I think we may have found ourselves a bug. <laughs> Let's hope it's not a game breaking bug. We can do this. It's fine. Oh, oh, oh. So it's seeming a lot like ignore the testing elements. Because my brain tries to put things together in Portal. Like there's an energy ball dispenser and there's an energy ball receptor. I need to go put those th two things together. Okay, do we still have turret guy? No, we are past turret guy now. Now, I don't think we weren't told exactly where to go. So we are kind of just wandering around until we get instructions. Level G back down to level three. We're trying to get back to level Level three because we need to go back to the testing chamber that we came from. That's right. So 
This is all to get us used to traveling between the layers and the facilities. This is a good way to do a, an intro to the game. This was the pit that I thought you were talking about when you said the, uh, the goo pit, but okay, we still don't have access to the pink doors. So if you can tell a lot of areas, you would need an orange and blue portal. This is one of the unique features that adds to our exploration experience. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of areas where I'm like, we can definitely come back here and revisit it once we have the orange portal. So the AI is gonna make this work now. That was a long way around to get back to the test that, that we've already done. That was cool. So I and I was definitely right about saying that the demo is just not even close to the amount of content that's in the early release. Cause this is just awesome. I just wanna get back there. Ugh. I wanna get back there so bad. Maybe we'll get back there. I remember getting the orange box and it came with portal one and I was like, I didn't even know what it was, but I played it and it was like, oh, this is amazing. That's what that is. I see a button. I'm gonna go put the cube on the button. Okay, we put it there. That opens this door. And then we just stand on this button and we fire a blue portal right there. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. Then we just go up here again. Oh, we made it. We did it. That one was so much easier for us the first time we did it. Aren't things normally supposed to be easier the second time you do it? One of the maps used to crash because too much was rendering. Okay, I've seen some stutters in this. Like even this level stuttered a bit. And I don't know if it's because of the lighting in, in between the glass or if it's something else. Wait, both cubes are here. There definitely weren't both cubes here before. Oh, there's three cubes now. Wait, what? How are there three cubes? We did the puzzle with two cubes before. Now we're up here. We can have this cube with us here. And this was the wall that I remembered. Okay, so we do this wall to get one cube. So this goes here. And now I have this extra cube that I didn't have in the demo that I don't really know what to do with because we solved the demo without it. Okay, just need to wait for that. And then we put it here when it bounces back down, but we need to follow it. Oh, we almost had it. Oh, oh. Okay, we still have it. We still got it. That's fine. Okay, that does this ramp. And then I believe we just need to get our cubes back up here, right? No, we only need two. That means we could take one with us, though. Are we going to need one to take with us? No, there's a fizzle field. Okay, I love these launching puzzles. They're so nice. Okay, we don't need that. We need this. We need. I was trying to push it from distance. That's not how that works at all. Okay, it came with us that time. That was much better than the last time. We need the orange portal here, so let's crack this door open. Okay, now it's centered. We need the cube once we go through this fizzle field. I remember, I, I I can portal. So we need it on there. Then we need it on here. And then we do the rest of the puzzle like this, right? And it was like, that was the spot, right? And then we actually need to replace it there and then not get hit by it over here. And we need it to go as, as low as possible and in the middle. Hopefully that was enough. Okay, that did it this time which is good. This was a great puzzle. This this one, well, it took me forever to solve and I raged at it, which means that it's a good puzzle because the more you rage at something, the more satisfying it is to just get right the first time. You think this'll work? I might land in sludge. I landed in sludge. Yeah, it was ill-advised. Dude, I took so long trying to figure this level out. Excuse me, I was not on the elevator yet. Hey, hey, knock, knock. What's going on here? Oh, oh, we get some behind the scenes access again. I love these lanterns. Those are cool. They look like frag grenades or combine grenades or something. Oh, we need orange access for that, but we have both portals now. Oh baby, are we back in that area again? No, this is different. I feel like we went through these hallways before. There's the orange door. This is like how we started the game, but now we have the full portal device. This feels like a good place to leave it. So far, it's been great. Thanks for uh, joining in this pre-release adventure for Portal Ambition. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like the content and wanna keep up to date with what we're doing on the channel. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.